Hello, Shadowcat back with more Fort Triumph, and this is the end, I think. Well, no, it's the end, because either way, I'm out of time. So, it's either this is the last battle, or, well, then the enemies win, and we lose, and everything just belongs to the Lich now. But that's not gonna happen. So, we've been to the university, we have been given all the spells, armor, artifacts, and incantations that we need to take down a Lich. I think. We better make sure that we're actually bringing them with us. So we were given the Armor of the Fae, the Pylons of something or other, and the Diadem of Spirit. I have given Weirin the Diadem of Spirit. Which, oddly enough, we had an extra one of. Terribly rare artifact. There's two of them in the world. Down here are these Enchronactic Pylons. I don't know what they do, but, uh, Leandra, you take them. You'll know better than anyone else what to do with them. And the armor of the Fae, well, this actually prevents Im uh, paralysis and all speed debuffs, so I give that to Evan. Why not? Maybe it's not the best person to give it to. Perhaps I should give it to uh, Solaris. I don't know. It it'll work fine for Evan. Also, I made sure to give the death gloves to Solaris. And on our trip over here, fighting through the armies and hordes, oh, the death gloves are cool if you know how to use them right. And I did, I was not using them right, but now I am. They're cool. So, we should get this done. Now the difficulty says, you know, really low actually. Not sure what we're walking into, but I guess we must be really powerful now. Let's find out. So, ready to fight Avathis? Yes, let's do it. Avathis men Menacing Cathedral looms ahead while the party and its allied armies make their preparations to assault it. Atop a steep hill overlooking the allied armies, the party members plan their attack in the command tent. The army will be deployed here, here, and here. Your main objective is to delay the bulk of the unliving and buy us time to defeat Avathis. The footman nods. Our party will infiltrate the main stronghold and confront Avathis personally. We'll use the pylons to drain away his power. Aye. Good going, footman. Go and see everyone knows their jobs. Yes, my lord. The party moves to the edge of the steep hill. Several peasants gather below, and on seeing him, begin to chant Evan's name. My lord, the people demand a speech. Told you not to call me that, and they ain't getting a speech. Perhaps I could speak for you? Evan rolls his eyes. Yeah, sure. Tell him this. Screw off. No speeches. I didn't sign up for this. Solaris hesitates, then raises his voice so those down below can hear it. We did not choose this war. You forced me into being in it. And now somehow I gotta take care of everyone now. We were forced into it. But we fight not only for ourselves but others who would suffer this evil's wrath if we do not. That's a lot of responsibility. And I ain't got the skills. Learning's real slow too. It took time to prepare our forces and plan. But now we are ready to strike back. Hell, even Orlean might do a better job. She ain't all bad, I guess. And damn talented at what she does. Together with our allies at our side... Their fierce might added to ours. The crowd cheerfully cheers wildly, chanting Evan's name. Evan rolls his eyes. Real proud of yourself, ain't ya? Solaris grins proudly. Most certainly. The heroes delve deep into the enemy encampment, entering the dark cathedral, home to Avathis and his elite guard. Leandra exhales deeply. Ready, gang? This is the end of the line. At last, we confront our nemesis with flame and steel. Yeah, put Lich in grave. No more screwing the people for all of Athis. Look, my minions. Some heroes grace us with their presence. We've come to end it, Avathis. We know everything. Your schemes to become a lich, playing with people's lives, 
all the lies and deceit. We have come to end it all. For such knowledgeable people, you're quick to march to your deaths. Minions, seize them. Let us welcome them to our ranks. Hope that welcome extends to, to us as well, you frickin' bastard. Aureline winks at Evan. Evan grins. Okay, so we have one goal. Fight through Avathus' lair. And already we have some people. So, what are we going to do with this? I know what we're going to do with this. Weirin, come slash this. You're going to draw some fire. It's okay, though. They missed. Okay. Oh, look, another skeleton over there. Let's go kill that one. Speedy boots. And murder. Eh, close enough. Now, Solaris. Now, these death touch gloves, these are wonderful, but I'm wondering if perhaps I should save these. Avathus is up here. But we do have to get to him first. You know what? I'm not going to save him. Let's use them while we got them. There we go. And in the meantime, we'll use our blinding flash on him. Can't be blinded. However, we can oppress him. And the oppress, uh, it does disable overwatch and attack of opportunity for two turns. Doesn't actually take away AP, doesn't really hurt anything. It just means that they can't overwatch or hit us in return. So yeah, that's all good. And since we're here, we will taunt. I, he is just a debuffing nightmare. Now, Leandra. Come up here. Do you have a decent shot on anything? The answer is not really. Come up here further. Use your lightning. Because it does reach so very far. Okay, next, Evan. I want you to move up here. Oh, what did we find? Avathis, you bastard. There's no point trying to stop us. We are coming for you. Pleased to hear it. Who are you again? Evan, you heap and noble dung. The lord whose subjects you've been torturing. You'll need to be more specific. You told my subjects you'd protect him. Took their taxes and left him to die. More specific? Village in the caverns? You sent undead to kill it. Tom's the mayor. Crystal caverns or obsidian caverns? Crystal. Ah, crystal caverns, Tom. Yes, of course. Delightful man. Good taxes. Terribly naive. Would make a great zombie. I'm making sure you get your unmarked grave after we're done here with you bastard. Okay. Well, Evan is suitably angry, which is good. I mean, there are definitely some things worth being angry about. So, how can we harass them today? I think, I think, I think, we're going to use the knockback arrow on this pylon. There we go. That stunned him. And we can use another one on this. Watch this. <laughs> Squish. Okay, Aurelene. I'm going to have you come up here. And what can you do? You really cannot do a whole lot. Can you get this guy with a tornado, though? There we go. Stunned him. So we're protected back here now.
Yeah, they're gonna come, they're gonna shoot at us, they're gonna rush us. But all the skeletons back at our level, we're pretty well protected. All right, good job, Solarian. That one's now dead. That gives us an extra AP. Well, it gives we're an extra AP. We're in move up and go slash slash. Bloodthirsty. We are not playing games this time. We are coming through. Okay. Uh, Solaris, though, there's not really a lot you can do. So I want you... I want you to hold off for now. Leandra. I want you to take your your whirlwind and hit this thing. There we go. Okay. There's still one Overwatch up there. That's fine. I'm going to have you come over here into full cover. Ooh, got her. It's okay, though. It's okay. Evan, can you get this guy with a nice arrow? Yes. Slow him down. Good shot. And for the time being, that's fine. Orlean, go ahead and move up. You are actually really slow, and I should probably be using your teleport more than I am. You have a few good shots. But I'm going to just have you overwatch in case someone runs up, I think. Or maybe. Is that an urn? It looks smoky like an urn. Oh, but I can't reach that far anyway. Nope. Just going to have you overwatch. So that just leaves Solaris. And Solaris, I'm going to have you run all the way up here. If anyone wants to screw with you, let them come and do it. And we just woke up more skeletons. Okay. Brace yourself. Evan, don't really need you to do anything. You, I did tell you to overwatch. Hmm. Evan, I'm going to have you move up here. That puts you in full cover. Orlean, move up there. And you're still overwatching, I believe. Well, you were overwatching. They missed Solaris. He didn't, though. Yeah, I did put Solaris in a rather vulnerable position, but he can take it. He can take it. I hope he can take it. Okay, they're kind of scattering, but mm, could be worse. Could be worse. They are all really clustered around Solaris, though, and I can use that to my advantage. So first things first, we're in. I'm going to have you run up here. Okay, that's what I expected. Now, you... Yeah, I want you to come in and harass this one. Uh. Oh, that's a hit. However, because you attacked Weirin, Weirin will now murder. And with the extra AP, come and harass you. And you just keep giving AP to Weirin. I mean, really. Why? You had that coming. Solaris. Um, I need you to press forward. Come deal with this one. Well, I kind of thought you'd do more damage. That's okay, though. That is okay. 
So, I want you to come up here. And the reason is... I can catch four people in a fireball. Most importantly, though, I can do it twice. Evan, kill. I would say good shot, but you literally cannot miss. Then move up. And Aurelene? Ah, uh, there's no place in cover that I can really put you. There really isn't. So come over this way. And fireball again. Toast and skeletons. Ooh, going after Orlean. Wait, how come Weirin didn't get an attack of opportunity? Uh, Solaris. You can easily do enough damage to kill that one. I think. However, that's a lot of Overwatch right now. Can we deal with the Overwatch? Evan. You can get him. There we go. Okay. Canceled the reaction shot there. Now, Solaris, you're free to move. Two HP for everyone. That brings me to Leandra. If you get too close, though, then you're going to be vulnerable. Here's what I want to do. You can uh, blow this one. Actually, with only three hit points, can you just kill it? Ooh, no. No, you really cannot. In fact, you're not really going to get a good shot with that either. Oh, but you know what you could do? Ooh, teleporting time. Now we got a better shot. Aurelene, kill it. Well, that's it. Okay, fine. Magic boots, up here. Okay, that one's dead. And then... Yeah, there's nothing I can really do here. We aren't come up here. And just stay there. Now, Leandra, you... Maybe able to pull something off here. Maybe. 79 damage. You can't kill this thing outright. Come over here, though. Take the shot. There we go. And Evan? I'm going to have you move up here. We're in. Terrify. Let's use everything we got. Okay, he cursed him. It's fine, though. We're in murder. Good. Give some extra AP. Come up here into cover. All right. Go take care of that skeleton archer. That gives everyone some hit points back. Leandra. Move up here into cover. Good enough for me. Just maintain an overwatch. Evan, further up. We'll stagger our movements. Overwatch. Orlene, you are really far back. You're going to have to run just to catch up. And even running. I mean, you're just not fast. Run up here. Okay, we're in. Magic boots. What do you see? Even if you've made it this far, so what? Your paltry powers are not enough to hold me back. Leandra waves her hands, and the three pylons teleport into the crypt. Time to face the music of Vathis. W what is this? I feel my power draining. Are those encrinactic pylons? You sneaky scoundrels. Ah. 
No, no. The sneaky scoundrels is uh, more our specialty. Garbrick and his companions joined the battle through a secret tunnel in the wall. Garbrick, What are you doing here? These people will hunt your kind down. Join me on the winning side instead. You know, my gut feeling's telling me you're going to kill everyone who's working with you when you're done. Respect for that. But lately, I'm wondering, what if us goblins work for ourselves? No evil masters. Just by the goblins. For the goblins. Gonna give that a shot. After you're dead, that is, buddy. Okay, well, we have friends now. I like friends. And I'm not gonna lie, it's good to see Garbrook again. He's trustworthy. Alright, so we used the boost to get up here. I'm going to use this Diadem of Spirit. Now this means that all of our physics ability, that is arrows, whirlwinds, and kicks, only cost one point. Then I'm going to run up here. And then, once I'm here, <laughs> I'm going to put the boots to him. Like that. And after that, I will do it to you. There we go. Stun three people in one turn. Now, Solaris, you need to get up here. It's going to be hard for you to reach anything, but you can still totally do it. Get up here. You're exposed there, but at least you'll help pin that one down. Leandra? I don't have a good spot for you, so come up here. I need you to be able to reach with your lightning. Yeah. Uh, can you hit anyone? You can hit that one. Good enough for me. There we go. Lots of electrocutions. Evan, move up there into cover. Now, we've got a lot of stuns here. What about a Vothis? 350! Oh, my. And he has stun protection. So, what if I pull this down on his head? Wait, can I not do that? Oh, that's right. I need to pick a direction. There we go. His stun is blocked. But, since that was a physics move, I can still get him. Why don't you come here? There we go. And I got a plan. Oh, I got a plan. If this works. Okay. Can you knock out this pillar? 78% chance. That pillar's gone. I'll have you overwatch. And then, Garbrook. You wanted to help? You can help. Can you knock out this pillar? Move over. Knock this out. In fact, you know what? Knock him into it. Overwatch. Oh! Dropped it on his head. That was a ton of damage. And it stunned him, and it's taken almost... We, we've taken almost 50 hit points away from him this time. I mean, that's... I'll take it. I will take it. And then, let's yank him over here. See, now he's in the control zone. Going after Solaris. That's not good. So many of them are stunned, though. They're spreading out. That's okay. Paladin, why do you help these heathens? Come, join me. Attempting to turn me amidst the final confrontation? A classic villainous move, Avathis. Tis appreciated. Solaris salutes in appreciation. 
I mean it. Join me. The mages, Aureline, they attempt to turn and corrupt your thoughts from the Order. The goblins, they will destroy you. None let you be who you are. All assault you. But not I. Join me. Solaris pauses to arrange his thoughts. I once thought you a great leader and orator. Yet you do but one thing. Turn to people's fears, making victims of them. Does that truly work? Avathis gestures with his arms to his many followers and grins. Solaris grimaces. You make victims of the people, and they gobble it up. But in truth, your words imply them weak, helpless, and unable to defend their ideals. And I do not wish to be such things. Death it is, then, Paladin. Wait, is that a friend? Is that... <gasps> I think it is. It is! It's Ab Steven. We have so many friends. Okay, so what can we do here? First, we do some happy murder. That gives us another AP. Can we do more happy murder? Yeah, we can. I love the happy murder. Now, I want you to use the gloves on him. Stunned, paralyzed, and you're going to rip the life force that remains out of him. Afterwards, let's go ahead and blinding flash this one. Pesky skeleton that it is. Can't blind it, but still works. And then, taunt of Athos. He deserves it. Leandra, move up here into cover. You have your pick of targets now. Anything that you can actually hit. And you can hit that one. Good shot. Evan. Move. Well, do you really even need to move? You're in a good position already. Not to mention, you can hit almost anything. Yeah, take out that one. Very good. And then Overwatch. Orlean, move up. And now that you've moved up... Can you knock over this statue? There we go. Stunned a skeleton. Garbaric. You know, you're in a really good position right there. Can you curse him? I'm afraid of what he'll do if we ever don't have him stunned. Alright, he's cursed. Then you can overwatch. And Dr. Absteven... Well, you have a big fireball, but let's let's not do the big fireball. I think what I'll have you do is just attack. Yeah. Pummel him. And then overwatch. Hmm, Leandra's been cursed. And Solaris got to use the gloves again. He's down to 166 hit points. That's fantastic. All right, we're in. It's time to hammer. Do as much damage as you can. And that was 26. I mean, that that was heavy. <laughs> then terrify. I'm actually kind of feeling bad for him now. First we hammer. Then prod. Attack of opportunity. That's what I'm talking about. He's down to 100 hit points. From 350. Alright, Leandra, you don't even need to move. Just shoot. Very good. Evan, um, you need to pull back here. Shoot him. In fact, chilling arrow him. There we go. Orlean, take cover, but then shoot him. Garbaric, the same. And Dr. Absteven, blow him away. Ugh. 
You're not going to be able to stop us. It's not going to work. Okay, Weirin. Wait, he only has nine hit points left? Weirin, I guess you get this one then. Finish this. Take that, you bastard! Avathus' evil life force dims, and the scepter of the damned falls to the floor with a clank. If I die... I am taking you all with me. Avathus angrily utters an incantation. The cathedral begins to tremor, and more magical flames erupt to life. The pillars of the room groan and break from the intense heat as debris rains from the roof of the cathedral, threatening to crush the party. Run! Before the fire burns everything! Evan makes towards the exit, but is stopped by the intense heat. We're trapped! Laughing, Avathus begins casting a teleportation spell. Weirin angrily sprints towards Avathus, narrowly dodging the magical flames and debris. She pounces on Avathus with a roar, stopping the lich's casting. Moments later, a piece of the ceiling breaks above them, pinning the barbarian down. A piece of the ceiling breaks loose above Leandra. Evan leaps to Leandra, narrowly pushing her to safety. Leandra thinks frantically. I can extinguish some of this with magic, but it's spreading too fast and too unpredictably. Perhaps, if we had an expert arsonist? Solaris directs a look at Evan with a raised eyebrow. Uh, I didn't know anything about that, but maybe... Put out that pillar there right quick, because you get nasty temperatures with this kind of fire. Then that crate, it'll burn up fast right there in the center. And then, the cathedral groans under its own weight, but the heroes have just enough time to collect themselves, grab the scepter, and rush to the entrance before the dark cathedral collapses in an enormous cloud of dust. As soon as Avathus breathed his last and the scepter left his grip, the unliving regained their freedom. They chose to use it to terrorize, feast on, and rinse the living, but their numbers no longer grew, and the living races handled the dwindling threat with familiar proficiency. Garbrick returned to his people with a revolutionary new method of governing, dictatorship. Gone were the days of evil minionship, under him, goblins raided and pillaged for themselves, and enjoyed hitherto unknown prosperity. Ab Stephen published his works on the unliving, even creating a necromancy book cataloging the different types. His book lay in the library for years, earning a glorious thick coat of dust until a day when a group of heroes required it for defeating evil. The highest honor for such a work. Orlean returned to her people. Her ambitious impede ambitions impeded only for a short time. She climbed up high society's ladders and made many friends and enemies in the great game. Many years later, she married, and despite her ambitions, it was a marriage of love. Her partner, some sort of traitor, balanced her efficient methods with doing what's right. Evan continued to lead his people, constructing a new village on the surface. It was a difficult journey, with much learning to be had, but eventually he had become an exemplary leader. Shortly afterwards, when things were better in the village stable, he disappeared, leaving his tiresome responsibilities behind, never to be seen again. Still, wherever injustice reared its ugly head, a mysterious hooded criminal appeared to put it down, and take a reward for himself, of course, while grumbling about the flaws inherent in the system. Solaris continued on to lead many heroic adventures and became known throughout the land. Many ballads, plays, and even a finger puppet show were created in celebration of the incredible heroics of the mighty paladin, Solaris Ironfloss. He rose to the very top of the Order of Paladins, and on his decree, bed rolls and numbers were heresy no more. Wirin collected her fallen enemy's bones and returned to her homeland, 
opening a bone jewelry store and making a small fortune. She then used the profits to outfit all barbarians with thick wintry coats in their harsh frozen tundra homelands. And they never suffered pneumonia again. Leandra held on to the scepter. She used it as collateral to pay her tuition, and stayed in the academy for many years as a researcher, delving into the scepter's powers and advancing magical science greatly. The one downside was having to tune out the constant new murderous whisperings of the artifact, but she was well practiced in tuning out chatter from her long travels with Solaris. She only ever slipped up one time, heeding the influence of the evil artifact and fulfilling the prophecy of the end of days attached to it. But that is a story for another time, and it's widely agreed by the scientific mage community that it was well worth the data anyway. And that's it! We have defeated the great evil. So, this is Fort Triumph! I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I think this is one of the most fun games that I've played in a long time. I've always been a fan of the XCOM tactical games, and when XCOM came out, I played so much of it. I played so much of it, I actually got sick of it. So to have this, this is everything that I've wanted for a long time. The story is hilarious. I love the story. I love the characters. I do think that there are some things that needed to be tweaked. For example, while it is cool that you can rename the characters, since all the characters are so very inherently tied to the story, it's kind of hard to replace them midway through. Otherwise, you end up with three rangers who are all the lord of the same town. That aside, though, I mean, they, they did what they could. This is a great game. The fact that I got this out of the Humble Bundle basically for free makes it all the better. So if you want a fantastic experience and you want to try all kinds of different things that I didn't do, and believe me, I have played several games of this outside of the story, there are so many more abilities and buildings and weapons and artifacts and everything else that you can get, you didn't see half of it. So if you want to try this on your own, I highly recommend going to the Humble Bundle and picking up Fort Triumph. It's a good cause. It's an amazing game. I highly recommend it. So, thankfully and luckily, this is actually the last day of September, which means that this came just in time. Give it a few days. The Humble Bundle comes out the first Tuesday of every month. And come the, this next Tuesday, I guess, we will see what's coming up on the next one. So I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. I hope you've had a good time. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you're here for every video. Share this with everyone you can, everyone you like, and maybe even some of the people you don't like. Speaking of likes, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and I will see you back here next time for more games and more stories. Till then... Take care.